Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about personal space in body language. What's too close? How do you deal with people who are too close? And how to know if you're too close or too far away in conversation. Now there is a name for this and it's called proxemics. Proxemics is the study of how people structure the space around them. And we do this without any conscious effort. And it differs based on the culture and the person's preference for space. And today I'm going to talk about the four categories of proxemic distance that are usually kept in American culture. The closest space is the intimate space. That is between zero inches and one and a half inches feet or 18 inches. So this is that space where we allow those closest to us in that intimate space so that you know, especially in America, when you see people within that close of space together, you know that there is a high amount of trust with each other because they're letting people into that intimate space with each other. The next category is called personal space, and it's commonly referred to as the personal space bubble. Think about this as your personal friends, not your family members, not your romantic interests, not your super, super close friends, but your general personal friends. And this space is 18 inches, that's the one and a half feet, up to four feet. So in this space, you think about it, somebody's able to, if they're especially within two feet of you, they're able to reach over and they're able to touch you, they're able to grab your arm, they're able to lean in a little bit without it being too close. Or even in a close business relationship, when we feel close to someone that we work with, we'll let them into this personal space bubble, especially if they're wanting to share something with us or we're wanting to have a private conversation. So think about this personal space bubble as being your friend bubble, whether it is personal friends or friends at work or somebody that you feel really comfortable with at work. So before I get to the next category, let me talk about what can happen sometimes whenever our personal space bubble is invaded. Say, for instance, um, we don't know someone that well or we don't feel that comfortable with them and they start getting into our personal space bubble. We may not even realize it, but for some reason, we may start to feel uncomfortable. So what you can do in a situation where you know that the other person means well, they're not trying to intimidate you, they're not trying to be creepy or anything like that, you know that they're just unaware and they're getting into your personal space. What you can do is with one foot, you can take a step backward and lean your weight on that back foot by keeping your other foot where it was. And this way it creates that distance between you and the other person without them feeling awkward about it. Now, how do you know if you're the one? Maybe you're the one that's invading their personal space and you don't even realize it because we're not out there with a tape measure measuring how far we are to other people. So maybe you haven't even realized that you're invading someone's personal space bubble. Here are some signs that you may be doing that. If you see them back up in any way, then you want to make sure and not move towards them. So if the other person backs up, just stay right where you're at. Another reason why they may be backing up is if you're a tall person, they might not be able to see your eyes. So they may be backing up so they can actually see your eyes without having to look up at you. And if they have any kind of object in their hands or anything like that and they put it in front of them, then that may be a sign that you could be too close and you may want to take a step backwards. And if they start breaking eye contact with you or look uncomfortable in any way, just take a step back. Now the next category is the casual acquaintance category and that is four feet to ten feet away. Four feet to 10 feet away. In those situations, you can't just reach out and touch the other person. There's more of a formal, less comfortable relationship. It can be not that the person doesn't like you, it's just that they don't know you that well. And so that's the reason for the distance. And then the final category is over 10 feet. And that is normally with strangers. 
So think about a neighbor that you don't even know and you're walking in your neighborhood and you talk to them for the very first time. You're keeping a greater distance because you don't know them. And perhaps the next time you talk with your neighbor, you may move a little bit closer to them, more of that casual relationship between four and 10 feet. Like I said, we're not out there with tape measures measuring how close we are to people. So don't overthink this. Just start to be able to recognize what are the signs that I might need to back up in a, an encounter with someone. It's more important to be able to read the signals of other people and then respond accordingly. Do you have any creative ways that you've dealt with people who get too close in conversations? If so, share those in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.